morning, everybody. It is Sunday, February 28th. Sorry, I'm just looking at Queese. Are you laughing or smiling? So anyway, like I said, it's February 28th. It is the last day of February. Um, I'm super excited um, to see this month um, come to an end. Uh, obviously, February is awesome month for the Bradley household. Um, two of the most vibrant people in the family, the one who keeps the family afloat, and the one that keeps the family lively. Birthdays are in February with Cece and Mariah. As you guys have seen in the past few vlogs, we've been celebrating their birthdays all month long. But the month is over, which... All right, give me a second. God, this boy. I don't know what he wants. He just over here. I don't know what he wants. But anyway, um, the month is coming to an end, which I am super excited about. Not because the month is over, because my obviously my two favorite people, two of my favorite people, birthday is that month. But March brings vacation. Yes, it is time to get out of here. I have been seeing people traveling and um, just living their best life. Um, nothing against anybody who is out there and um, staying home and, you know, ad adhering to the guidelines set by most of our state officials, but we are getting out of here. We are going to Mexico. I am, we, you know, obviously you guys know we're from Cleveland. We've been in a winter vortex slash winter wonderland since like November. I haven't felt heat or warmth in a very long time it's probably since like september of last year so uh i need some sun i need some um what's that uh vitamin d as they say the sun provides so i need i need all of that um it's just gonna be nice now for real it's just gonna be nice to get out of here spend some time some some one-on-one -on -one time with my wife um kind of reset we haven't done anything like this since before she was pregnant obviously COVID happened while she was like five months pregnant and obviously before that she we are our last vacation together she was pregnant with Quees so we haven't had to do we haven't had any kind of couple time like that in a long time and I think it's very important that uh husbands and wives get that alone time i take my my time with my wife very very seriously i kind of feel like i need that in order to be the best husband the best father the best employee the best boss that i can be um because she she grounds me and she makes me a better person but anyway i'm rambling <laughs> quiz is in the bathroom knocking candles over so i kind of need to be a dad and get off this camera and uh, yeah did I hear that? I'm sorry. So, I gotta go. So, as you guys know, today is Sunday, like I said a little minute ago. Uh, normally, we go to the gym on Sundays. But today, we are actually going to make this a content day. We need to get some stuff filmed. Um, so I'm actually going to, uh, Tisi's on the way home from church right now. So I'm about to get the kids dressed, get Queese ready to go. Um, I'm about to get everybody cleaned up and out of here. And then me and Cece are about to get some work in. So let's get these kids dressed. Let's get them out of here. That's always a task in itself. dress I've been instructed by into the light here so I've been instructed by Creese's grandma 
<laughs> Ma wants Queese to wear his new shoes that she got him. So, we're about to get his shoes on. Want to get your shoes on? My mother-in-law is pretty dope. She, uh, from all of her grandkids. We, if we didn't, if we, we legit probably would never have to buy any kind of clothing or anything like that. <laughs> and if, if we told, if we were struggling, she really wouldn't. We just, she would buy everything for these kids. So, um, shout out to Ma, who is awesome. You love grandma? You love grandma? That's mommy. <laughs> so whatever the ring doorbell goes off, it always lights up our phone. And all the kids always like, what? They know one of us is walking through the door here. So. Let's get your shoes on, buddy. Bow, bow, bow. Give me your shoes from over phone. Oh. Hey, ma, 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 ma. Da, da. Don't try to kiss me. Say ma, 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 ma. You little traitor. You little traitor. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Da, 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 da. You're supposed to say, ma, ma, ma. All right, y'all, so we're about to get out of the house. Like I was telling y'all in the house earlier, today is a content day. We are co creating content, but we're about to drop the kids off. Y'all see all these gray hairs I got now? I was supposed to dye this stuff before we um, filmed today, but I'm, I'm not, so we gotta get to these kids. Um, I might have some asking here. Put this down. just click the unlock button. This COVID world we live in, how to make sure you always got at least a few masks around. So anyway, let's get these kids in the car so we can get out of here. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Fried donuts? No, we we did we we did not get fried donuts. <laughs> we did not. We got fried donuts. We did not. Tacos, mimosas, margaritas. Keep going. I, did, I got a. You want a fried donut? I do not. You sure? I would not like one. You sure? Yeah, have all those. All that too. That's all you. <laughs> Looks so good. Such a nice day. Just, oh my God. Crazy that like last week, everyone was all buried in snow. You know what I mean? And now the temps are crazy high for the last day of February. Oh goodness. That food was so good. So good. Just had queso and chips and salsa and fried donuts and tacos um, and what did I have? Mimosa, a pineapple mimosa. That mimosa was actually really good. And he had margarita and it was really good. So now we're headed home and we're about to um, a full day of content creation for you guys. So we're gonna do some reels, we're going to do some um, oh, Dear just, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley videos, what? I just got an idea, just heard him song. He just got an idea. <laughs> We've been really loving doing the reels, you guys. They've been a lot of fun, like just doing those. It's like little short, tiny content pieces, but um, they're really fun to do, really funny, and we can kind of, I don't know, just play around with different ideas. They've been really, really fun to shoot. Mark, I think Mark's really been liking them. Yeah, I've been, my creative juices get the flow and coming up with ideas and different things to to do. Um, Sorry, y'all, we're going to a really bumpy row. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, real sorry, they've just been, so that's what we should have went. 
Ola Taco. But they've just been, um, they've been really, really fun to do. So um, we're gonna try to get a few of those knocked out today. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, if you haven't seen any of our reels, make sure you head over to Bradley Party of Six on Instagram so you can check out our reels there as well. Like, I mean, we've just been loving doing them. They're so much fun. So thank you guys for all the love on them if you have seen them. But let's go get to work. Like, all I want to do right now is take a nap. <laughs> let's go get to work. So, after eight years of marriage, my husband just told me that he wants a divorce and he doesn't love me anymore. I didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't say that at all. So, what did you say? I said I wasn't playing the restaurant guessing game tonight. You need to pick something. I'm hungry. That's the same thing. All right, so it is the evening time. We did get a lot of stuff done. We actually filmed, what, one? We filmed one video, which you guys will see before this vlog even goes up. Um, we filmed like five reels, five reels for the Bradley Party of Six channel. We got a couple of more to do. I and now- Bradley Party of Six. You love Bradley Party of Six? Well, we when we all, all our presents and we practice so we can do it in the morning. <laughs> all right, so um, it's about eight o'clock in the evening. Um, me and Mariah are working on, what are we working on? 100th day. So Monday is Raya's 100th day of school. And she is, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. All right, so we got some googly eyes here. We got some uh, cotton balls there. We got some rotini macaroni. We got some, like, uh, I forget what these things is called, like peons here. We got some straws here. So, and we're gonna just put them all on a shirt and Ryan's gonna write a big 100 in the middle of the shirt right there. So we're about to knock this. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dad, dad. Dad, dad. You ain't gonna say dad, dad? All right, y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's the end of the night, y'all. Um, we are up in the. Ooh, that's too close. Up. We are up in our bedroom. It's the end of the night. So, Cece has been eating bad all day, as y'all can see. And she's like, oh. I'm hungry, we should order from the wing experience. You want something? And they had like all these exotic sauces. I'm like, I, I guess. So. This is disgusting. No. What's that? It's real nasty, it's disgusting. So, I like CC eat chicken anyway. She wasted, you see how she wasting this chicken? Cause it's nasty. It ain't cause it's nasty, it's just how you eat chicken, nah, but. it's nasty. I'm sure I want these lemon pepper wings. This is supposed to be lemon pepper. So it's like, I don't even know what I seen it. I was like, it's a regular wing. I was like, a lemon pepper. I was like, what is this? Is that? I like these wings. Look real. I ain't gonna say what I said, but <laughs> my sprite is flat. Oh yeah, the sprite. She said the sprite tastes like it needed to be changed. The crinkly fries were cold. <laughs> yeah, it just was not a good experience. At all. So she was like, "Can I get my money back?" <laughs> I've never ordered this type of stuff with like DoorDash, but I knew if she had did it with like Uber Eats, they would have gave her money back for how bad the food was. But I mean, it tastes like wings to me. I'm not drunk or nothing, but they don't taste like wing stops. They don't taste like B dubs. They are terrible. Pretty subpar wings. So we never ordered from there again. But anyway. Me and Ryan did finish our shirt, the, the video cut out. Let me show you guys what the shirt looked like. Hold on, let me go downstairs. So we finished Ryan's 100 day of school t-shirt. This is what it looks like. So she wrote 100 days on the front of it. It's got some like cotton balls here, some pasta, some like hooks, some like eyeballs or little fuzzy things. Then on the back, it's like 40 like twist tie things with the number 100 on it. So we have fun doing it. Love doing these type of craft things with my girls. But the night is over. I'm about to get CC some pop, some something else to drink because this pop is literally like seltzer water. It was literally could have just 
got twenty dollars and flushed it down the drain. That's literally how bad this food was. So I'm gonna call it the evening tonight. Time to get up, girls. It's time to get up. Move it slow, pokes. Let's go. It is your 100 day school. So hurry up so we can get going. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday. So um, it's March 1st, Monday, March 1st, and new week, new goals, new month. I love it when a month starts on a Monday. This is the last time this year in 2021 that any month will start on a Monday. Do I got something on my shirt? No. But this is the last time this year that any month will start on a Monday. So I just love it when month starts on Mondays. We've had two months in a row, and I feel like... Um, February was a very productive month for me. So now we're in March and I'm just sitting here thinking about some of my goals, some of the things that we'll be doing this month, trying to prepare for different things. Like we're preparing for my ebook launch, um, which will happen on April 1st and preparing because I will be also doing career consultations. I think I've talked to you guys about this before there will be an official announcement coming soon, just kind of explaining everything, but we're just working on the promo for that this month i have some really great video ideas not only for this channel but also for my main channel and we're going on vacation this month and the weather seems to be i know we're gonna get more snow like i live in ohio but let me be optimistic a little bit the weather is doing well for the past week and i just i'm very optimistic about this month and i'm sitting here just kind of looking at my um my portfolio for in Robinhood. I told you guys we were investing and trading. So Mark and I were just kind of talking back and forth about um, the different the different uh, companies that we're invested in and how they're doing. So we invest um, in some of the same companies, but also we've also done some different ones. And I think it's nice to have that diversity in both of our portfolios. We don't both have to invest in the same things. And we're just starting off like very, very small. I mean, we started off with like $100. It's so like around Christmas time, I put in $100. And I've just been kind of adding to it since then. And then I've also like sold a couple of things as they went up, took in some profit and then, you know, put some money back in there. So there's only like $650 in the account so when i say we're starting small we're starting very small but we have no idea what we're doing so it's it's nice to start small that way we can kind of build it up as we learn what we're doing do some more research and all that so um right now i am only invested in fuel cell um so fcel fuel cell has been doing very well for me and i've actually made about 200 dollars off fuel cell and I took the profit and then I invested back in it when it went down and that has been working well for me. And so now I'm back in it and I have 15 shares of that. And then um, Zometica is another one that a lot of people have been talking about. The tickers, ticker symbol, I think you call it, is ZOM. I do have 125 shares of that. So I'm hoping that has a little run up for me, but those are the two stocks that I'm looking at right now. So um, I was just kind of looking at that and talking to Mark. So if you guys have any stock tips or anything like that that you want to share down below, make sure you get the get the conversation started. We can talk all things stocks down below because we have so much to learn and I'm still trying to learn. Like I'm watching different like YouTube videos and I've been listening to some podcasts and reading some books and articles and things like that. And I just feel like I feel like I need to take like a whole class. I wonder if there's like some type of whole class out there that I can take because I feel like that would be super helpful. Look at this. I washed all of my makeup brushes this morning, which there were so many and my hands are now like all ashy because they were in water for like an hour. 
But another thing I'm doing, I'm actually in between work. It's like 3.13 and so I'm in between meetings and I just finished up some more work and so I decided to read a couple pages of the newest book that I have. So the newest book that I'm reading this month is called Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, How We Can Learn to Fulfill Our Potential. And I'm literally just starting it, like I only have that little bit done, but it's a really good book. It's not as easy of a read, I feel like, as Atomic Habits was, but it's a really, it's really good so far. I'm only on like page 12. Yeah, page 12, but it's just really focusing on your mindset and um, like you don't have a fixed mindset. Everything is fluid. So you weren't like born with this certain amount of intelligence, you know what I mean? Like you were born with what you were born with and then you can expand it and learn and 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 learn different things and do different things in order to expand how far you go or in order to put yourself in a position to go further like it's not like oh this person was born with this much intelligence so they're going to go this far that's not how it works and so learning that and tweaking your mindset in different areas of life will definitely help you out that's kind of the concept of the book if i'm explaining it correctly and it goes into detail in parenting business school and also relationships so i'm excited to get into the crux of the book and see um really what type of spin they put on that so that's what i've been doing today writing down my weekly to-do list for personal for work looking over my my video calendar to make sure that everything is in place i'm about to post a photo on instagram as well and um I also need to go into the office tomorrow, so I have to make sure that I'm getting things set for that and also making a lunch because I would like to eat very, very clean for the next 11 days. So it's March 1st. We go on vacation in like a week and a half. So I want to eat clean um, until we go on vacation. See if I can just push these last couple of pounds through. We definitely skipped our workout yesterday because we were at Barrio um, eating tacos, as you guys saw, but... We're gonna we're we're gonna jump back on it because I want to eat clean. Like I said, eat clean for the next couple of weeks. Plus, um, Orange Theory, our gym is actually having their one mile benchmark run. Another one mile benchmark run. I think it's on March eighth, and I'm like trying to beat my last time. My last time was nine minutes and fifty seconds, so I'm trying to beat that. So I need to be as light as possible. Okay. Still drinking out of my favorite water bottle, the coldest water. I have a link down below. I love this water bottle. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Like I said, it's about 3.15. I have a few more things to finish up. Then I'm gonna go with the kids and then I'm gonna come back and cook. are out the house work day is over for now it's 4 30 so um i need to head out and get all the kids and then i need to stop at the grocery store maybe i'm trying to decide what we should eat for dinner told you guys i was trying to eat clean until we go on vacation so i don't know we have shrimp in the freezer so I might just make some maybe I'll just make some shrimp but I'm trying to eat good so I was trying to decide if I should go because I didn't take any chicken out so I was deciding, trying to decide if I should go take some chicken out or what but I think I'm going to um I forgot my sunglasses I think I'm just going to make shrimp that's probably what I do have shrimp and veggies but so I really don't need to go to the grocery store or do I I might still go because I want to get some crystal light. Anyway, I'm going to get the kids, probably head to get the girls, probably head to the grocery store, then go get MJ. Then we're going to head back home and I will do some more work. I have a few more emails to send, a couple more things to do. Mark and I, um, we have our brand meetings on Monday night now. So we're just going to talk about what's going on with both of our channels. Or well, with our channel and with my channel. And um, I told you guys with like the launch of all of our products and stuff like that. So we're just going to talk about that stuff tonight, get a few things done and that'll be the end of the night these days go by so 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 fast like so fast it's crazy it's the evening 
Monday evening, March 1st. Monday night. Oh, I guess Monday night, Almost whatever. midnight. So, really productive evening. I'm sitting here. Camelia is trying to convince me why I need to go get her um, clothes out of the attic. When she just bought 10 outfits for us to go to a resort in which she's going to... I don't know how they're going to look it. So... I may not like them. I don't know how they're going to look it. I don't. Who buys 10 outfits to go to a resort? I bought them because I like them. So anyway, we've been working this evening. By the time you guys see this... You will already have known that we are working on a book drop. Well, Camellia is working on a book. And I am um, kind of front lines on uh, promo and, and getting this stuff ready. So we've been had a really productive brand meeting where we came up with the flyer. So if you haven't seen yet. This is what the flyer looks like. The book is going to be called Black Girl's Guide Thriving in Corporate America. Not surviving, but thriving. So when we're not driving each other crazy, we actually work pretty pretty well together. Um, be nice if we had like dedicated time that we could actually just sit down and do this all the time. But between yesterday, which we didn't show, and today, <laughs> which we didn't show... Um, we probably put about collectively about six to seven hours of just focused, dedicated branding time in yes. over these past two days. Content creation is work. So when you see, I done told y'all this before, when you see your favorite YouTuber, your favorite Instagrammer, your favorite TikToker, like whatever it is, Facebook, I don't know, whatever it is. When you see somebody do that, like, they not just taking their phone, snapping a photo, and posting it. Like, there is so much that goes behind that. So much research. So much, we talked about editing. So much, just like, uh, content creation is work, okay? It's fun work. And we love doing it, which is why we do it. Because it ain't like we getting paid boatloads of money to do this but it's so much fun but it's definitely working we put in a lot of work and time into everything that we do so hopefully you guys enjoy it and like enjoy it a lot <laughs> we really hope you do because we do put a lot of time and thought into it and it's just i don't know it's fun i hate this angle let me sit up in this chair so that's gonna do it for this it is 11 45 at night 11 48 at night and we're tired i'm not tired i'm tired uh, we got things to do tomorrow though so more goals to chase and more things to uh obtain so i hope you guys had a really productive march 1st i talked to you guys earlier and y'all know i love it when months start on a monday and it's the last time month will start on a monday in 2021 so, I hope you guys had a really, really productive day. I am speaking love and light and abundance and prosperity and all that on y'all for the month of March and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Right, this is where we're drawing out. We will catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.